the London E Prix. The whole season has come down to today and tomorrow. I mean, anything can happen. Nick's got absolutely nothing to lose. This is what the hell's he doing? I don't know what happened. All he needs to do is win. Come on, yes! come on. Yes! Win, man. Everybody's under pressure out there. That's how you handle it. What you gonna do? Gonna try win. Right, this weekend we'll see Formula E racing through the east end of London. We're joined by the man looking to make history by becoming the first Briton to win the Formula E title, Jake Dennis. Now you're 24 points ahead, but it's 25 points for the win, so you're not over the line. It's just two yet. races now over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, still a lot of points up for grabs. Uh, 59 points total with like pole position and fastest lap, so healthy 24 point lead. Hopefully, I can just do the damage on Saturday and then have an easy day off on Sunday, but uh, there's still a lot to do. There's technically four in contention, realistically three, even more realistically two. You're like the massive underdog here, Raph. Eh? I guess, I mean, I, I, I don't feel like I'm in contention yeah, anymore. Yeah, you, know, you need a lot to happen, but I mean, anything could happen. I think, to be honest, on a normal weekend, it's out of reach to win a championship, um, but you never know. I feel chilled, very good. Game on, mate, it's gonna be good, big weekend. Thanks for that. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Well, you're still smiling, that's important. <laughs> I'm enjoying it at the moment. I, I feel a bit, of, a bit apprehensive and a bit like nervous, but like, yeah, it's, it's a welcome pressure. It's, it's really exciting to be involved in such a big event. These guys are so fast. Um, it's really challenging to, to go up against them at the moment, but we're giving everything we can. All eyes are on Jake Dennis. Nobody is on as good form as he is. The only other one that is Nick Cassidy. Nick's got absolutely nothing to lose. Second, third, fourth in the championship, doesn't matter. It's all about now, just maximum commitment to try and beat Jake Dennis. Jake Dennis wins if he outscores Nick Cassidy by six points. It's quite easy for Nick to make this go into the last race of the season. And wherever Jake is or, or whatever happens, I can't, I can't control that, but I can control myself winning. So just focus on that. Nick Cassidy feeling quite relaxed ahead of this weekend. But the pressure is most certainly on this man here, Jake Dennis, the British driver. All he needs to do to secure that championship is win. And it all needs to start by maximizing qualifying. So in the semis, we've got Jake Dennis versus Mitch Evans. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Dennis has dropped a bit of time here. Mitch Evans in the Jaguar eliminates Jake Dennis from the duels. I don't know what happened, turn six. So we're going to have Mitch Evans versus Nick Cassidy fight for pole position. I really need Mitch to try and make pole. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Come on, Sam. Come on. Evans takes pole position. Yes. Oh. I owe Mitch a beer, mate. This is one of, if not the most important race of the 2023 season. What's your strategy going to be? What are you thinking? To try and beat Nick, that's really the biggest strategy. You know, I don't just want to settle in and just lose seven points. Uh, Nick's obviously in the best position. He's got Boemi right behind him. It's about uh, Nick. The idea is really for him to get the maximum points. So anything I can do, actually, I'm not going to tell you what I can do, but <laughs> I try. I try everything I can. I will do. You are the man who have the job to avoid there. Jake Dennis is proving world champion already today. What you gonna do? Gonna try win. <laughs> the driver is the sort of the point of the arrow. The pressure is all on them, but the team principals are under pressure because the owners of the teams are putting pressure on them, because the manufacturers and the sponsors are putting pressure on them. Everybody's under pressure out there. That's how you handle it. Five lights on. Good start then from Nick Cassidy. Oh, contact between the two. I got hit quite a lot. Yes, yes, yes. 
Ah. Ask me what you want me to do. Seb was essentially going to be like a bodyguard for Nick Cassidy. This is a joke. They had a code word on the team radio. Gladiator, this up. OK, 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 OK. He's gone ahead of Dennis. How damn this is yes. That's exactly what Jake Dennis did not need. Now Sebastian Wemi can start backing him up almost immediately. How do I play this now, boys? So Evans into the lead. The two oh. envisions fighting amongst one another. I'm confused by that. Why haven't they swapped them? I did against Seb. Seb was fully prepared to allow Nick to pass it. Should we try to swap position? There was an agreement over the radio. It was just about when would be the best place to do it. Tell me what you want me to do, man. Seb, we will swap positions. I'm just working out where. OK, tell me. I, I need to know, guys. What the What the I don't believe it. He just took off my front wing. I'm out. I'm out. Guys, I'm speechless. This cannot happen. You know what the funniest thing is, man? I didn't even need to give the lead up. I could have stayed in the lead, won this race, and I tried to do the right thing for the team because that's what I've done yeah. all year. Championship over, Nick Cassidy. Right, can I have five minutes, please? Can I have five minutes, please? Use your legs. Can I have some space, please? No, maybe. And this presents a golden opportunity now for Jake Dennis. With Nick retired, we're in the fight against Mitch. What's the minimum I can finish? P3, we get the job done. So are we going to see Verline coming into play here? But are they going to see the factory Porsche helping the Andretti Porsche? Verline and Dennis are very different people. And I don't think it's conducive to them being on the same space of racetrack. Man, I need a win, man. Where the f Pascal? It's right behind you, mate. Yeah, doing nothing as per f***ing usual. Dennis manages to outbreak Verline or does he? They're side by side through into two. We're not f***ing out, Pascal. Oh, f***ing. What the hell's he doing? Oh, it's incredibly close as they come through. And Dennis just manages to hold firm and get himself up into fourth place. What the f*** are we doing, guys? What the f***? Why is Pascal overtaking me? Common sense in this garage, guys. Come on. Had the meeting last night and it's gone. There was an agreement made between Andretti and Porsche. Porsche would help Jake win the driver's title. In return, Andretti would help Porsche with the team's title. Pascal, mate, is a f***ing idiot. Tell Porsche if they want my help tomorrow, then they f need to help me now. Dave. Into turn 19 and turn 20, and Mitch Evans wins, but Jake Dennis comes across the line. World champions, baby! Ah! Yes, dude. <laughs> what? Yes! Oh, oh my god. Oh, no, man, we are oh, all absolute legends. I love you all so much. had everything thrown at us, honestly. It felt like everyone was racing against us, but Jesus Christ, we've just become world champion, and uh, I am so, so happy for myself, the team, and everyone. We deserved it so much. I mean, the boys gave me a rocket ship, and to fight against the Jaguars was, was, was impressive. And right now, it's just um, full of emotion, relief, and, yeah, happiness. What have you done? What have you just done? First British Formula E champion, it means a lot, and now I can just enjoy tomorrow and, uh, and just sort of have the day off. You've got a team's championship to try and win. 
For the teams, it matters more because where they finish depends on how much money they have to spend on their next campaign. We are here now, ready for the finale of the season. A lot riding on it in terms of the team's championship. You had the customer and manufacturer team of Envision and Jaguar level on points. Please tell me that it's like all teams to themselves now. When it's you've got one, no points between you. Which was always the plan, um, which was, you know, have the fastest crowd on the grid and then make the best team and drivers win. Sylvain Filippi has been there since day one and managed to get into a position where he was the main man around about the Gen 2 era. For me, winning the championship is the last big thing we haven't achieved. We've won pretty much everything there is to win. Now it's really about winning that championship. Nice to see you. You're going to win or no? Yes. We're going to give it everything. Not easy for the guys under big pressure, and this is a big pressure game now, right? We're racers and we all want to win. Let's have some fun. Last we go green flag racing as round 16 is underway with Cassidy leading the field. There is Mitch Evans in second place. Bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. This uh, feels fucking awful, getting worse. Ruaymi in the envision, really pushing the limits. My car is a swimming pool right now. Nick Cassidy, he has controlled this race, led every single lap, and he comes around the final corner to win the final race of 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, boys. <laughs> yeah, I really, I really, 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 really like you guys. Envision Racing will take the team's title. We did it! At last! Ahead of Jaguar TCS Racing in second. Okay. Yeah, all good. All good. We should be proud. I know. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, you got one Hey, very quickly. It's not the first time you fight for the team championship and won't be the last. Like, yeah. you were there every year. It's, a, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't sleep last night. I slept well. Yeah. I'm so glad that didn't happen. <laughs> That final podium is the culmination of a season's worth of blood, sweat and tears to pure elation. But believe you me, it doesn't last for long. And before they know it, it's back to business. Silly season's what keeps me busy for about three months a year. It's a colloquial term for the driver market, and it's fascinating, and I love it. Formula E's worst kept secret, Sam Bird has lost his seat at Jaguar, with Nick Cassidy stepping in to take his place. That meant that Sam Bird took up a position with McLaren. Is this the final chance of a turnaround for Sam Bird? Over at Nissan, you've got Oliver Rowland coming back to the team that he knew very well from Gen 2. Equally, Robin Frines has opted to go back to Envision, who he left for APT last season. You've got Degrassi returning to APT. And Norman Latto gets the second seat at Andretti in a championship winning car. Eduardo Mortara has left Maserati for Mahindra, being paired alongside a former Formula E world champion, Nick De Vries. Joining the paddock as season 10's only rookie is Jihan Daruvala, who's taking the final seat at Maserati. With all of these driver changes across the paddock, the future of Formula E looks more competitive than ever. Season 10 is going to be bedlam. Oh, no! What a drive from Dennis! <laughs> Game on. <laughs>